Hi everybody, it's me, and I'm back again. Yes, like I said in the last video, I would be wearing the same clothes and the same eye look. So, this is going to be another tag video. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of getting stuff ready for Thanksgiving, so I'm trying to get a few things done, so I've got some things for people to look at while they're digesting pumpkin pie. Anyway, the tag that I'm going to be doing is the Messy Makeup Tag, which was originated by Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. Her channel and her video will be in the description below, along with a copy of the questions. And I've seen several other of the creators do this one, and I figured, yeah, well, let's see what I can come up with on the answers here, because everybody's got to clean up at some point. First question. How often do you wash your makeup brushes and sponges? Well, I've got a little green bucket that I put my dirty brushes in. And when it gets full, I go and wash them. You know, it's like whatever brush that I have gotten, like, too dirty and the color switch is not cutting it anymore and that kind of thing is like I pitch it in the bucket. Now I do have a couple of copies of the same type of brush so that I can get away with this for a little while before I go and wash them but it's usually about a week to a week and a half. How do you organize your makeup collection? Currently organization is not my strong suit. I'm still trying to get completely set up. Since I've only been doing this since August, I need to get a few drawers and that kind of thing. But I've got some of the standing file or letter fold holders on top of my desk that's got my palettes. So I've got my palettes right here in little racks, just all lined up going along the desk. I've got most of the rest of the makeup in drawers that are fairly far away and I need to actually get that cleaned out because that's my sewing machine table. So when I'm getting ready to do something like create a look or something I take a little basket over to those drawers and pick pieces and drag it back over here and then I have to drag it back and yeah I'm eventually going to get some drawers right over here by my desk getting there. Takes a little while sometimes. Number three, do you put your makeup products away after you are done using them or leave them out for tomorrow? It depends. There have been times where I have finished doing a look, done a quick video, and then been told we have to go to the store. And I'm one of the only drivers in the house currently, so when we have to go to the store, that usually means drop whatever you're doing and head for the door. Yeah, it sometimes gets left. Well, yeah, I'll eventually get better. Maybe. Just a little. Number four loose or pressed powders. I have both. I use the loose powders to set my foundation and my concealer and that kind of stuff and then when I go to finish off I use a pressed powder. So yeah I've got both. I've got um, Maybelline loose powder and the Wet n Wild finishing powder. Do you ever fall asleep without taking your makeup off? Oh, yeah. Look, I'm a little old lady, okay? I fall asleep at the drop of a hat on some occasions. Yeah, I have gone to sleep with my makeup still on. It's not good. Do as I say, not as I do. Take your makeup off, go wash your face. Do as I say, not as I do. But, yeah, 
it happens now and again once in a while a little bit what makeup rules do you like to break G rules rules I believe I'm breaking one currently if you really want to go by rules because if you go by some people's rules little old ladies shouldn't be wearing bright color makeup like this little old ladies shouldn't have wash and wear hair in strange colors guess what <laughs> I am NOT stepping back seven will you use a product even if it's cracked or broken it depends on what kind of cracked or broken you're talking about if it's broken in such a way that there's possibility of like a glass container having splintered off in it no if it's a powder like a eyeshadow or a pressed powder of some sort that is still relatively intact. I'll dump out the smaller chunks and kind of just make do. I can't afford to actually go replace all this stuff if it just like falls in the floor and goes kaboom. Which means I either make do or hope I've got something else that will work. And no, I'm not going to buy that funky foam stuff and try to put things back together. That's a bit much for me. Because if I can't afford to replace the silly thing, I can't afford to buy that foam stuff either. Do you wait to pan a product completely before you replace it? Sort of. I will wait to pan a product completely and then make sure I don't already have something that's a similar color in the rest of the palettes. I have found that there are more than one duplicate in some of these palettes, even if it's not the same company. So, yeah, I'm good. if I pan something... I'm going to go check to make sure I actually need to replace it before I start digging up the wallet. How do you feel about sharing makeup? Depends on the makeup. Powder eyeshadow, I'm not worried about. Eyeliner, no. That's too close to the actual eye. Just like with mascara, no. I don't want anybody else's eye cooties and nobody wants mine. I'm not taking the chance on me either giving somebody an eye infection or them giving me an eye infection. The, like I said, the powder shadows, not such a big deal. But anything that gets real close to the eye, like the eyeliners or the mascaras, mm -mm. Lipstick's a little hinky, too. I have to really know you really well. And I have to be fairly confident that you're using good dental hygiene. If I'm going to swap lipsticks. If... How do you feel about buying or trading used makeup? I have a problem with that. Unless I know the person that I'm acquiring it from, and I know that they're a reasonably careful person, it bothers me a bit. And I don't go out of my way to go looking for used makeup. I don't look at sites like Poshmark or whatever the heck it's called that where they're selling and trading and that kind of stuff and it's like yeah no huh I don't know these people I don't know whether or not they were grody yeah that's an old word 
How often do you declutter makeup? Actually, I'm not sure. I don't normally have that much at a time. This is the first time in like forever that I've had more than one or two palettes at, at, of any kind at a time. So yeah, this is, this is all like still way new stuff. And a lot of the stuff that I did have got left behind in Florida because our movers were dingleberries. Twelve, do you use your fingers to apply makeup? All right, this is gonna this is gonna make a few people just go. E -e -e. That's okay. It's all right. Calm down. But I've had these a lot longer than I've had these. All right. I've put makeup on my face since I was a teenager using my fingers as much as anything else because at that point I didn't have all these fancy brushes. Wash your hands, I don't see a problem. You see, because it's actually easier to wash these than it is to wash these. So, think about this. People have put on their makeup for centuries with their fingers it's not always been a problem and there are some of the eyeshadows and things like some of the glitters that they tell you straight up use your finger to put it on so I don't have a problem with the finger thing doesn't bother me Okay, what products, if any, do you hoard in your purse, bag, backpack, etc.? Lipstick. Oh, yeah, lipstick. Because I'll pull one out, put it on to go with the look, and then throw it in my bag. And eventually I have to kind of go in and go, all right, where'd all my lipstick go? Let's get it back out of the bag. <laughs> but. You know, everybody's got their thing. Mine's lipstick. What is your least favorite step in your makeup routine? Believe it or not, it's having to take it off. I mean, you went to all kinds of trouble to create this makeup look, and now you have to go in the other room and turn it all into mud with a cleanser of some sort. And I think that's just an absolute shame. I mean, you know, all that work that you did, in some cases taking an hour, if you're doing something really complex, and five minutes with a little cleanser, and it's you know, all on the wash rag. Yeah, ooh, yeah, it was bad. Okay, 15. What is your worst makeup memory? My worst makeup memory was the one and only time I shared a mascara with somebody and I woke up the next morning with my eyes glued shut because I had pink eye. There's a big reason I don't share eyeliners and mascaras. I don't ever want to go through that again, and I don't ever want to make anyone else go through that. It was horrible lesson learned definitely and that's the end of the questions if you enjoyed the video please leave me a comment or a thumbs up or both if you didn't enjoy the video leave me a comment be polite 
If this is your first time here and you like what you saw, please subscribe. If you subscribe, please click the little bell icon so that YouTube will, when they remember to, let you know that I've uploaded a new video. If you're back on purpose, hi, how are you? How you been? If you have any questions, any comments, anything, just put them down in the comment section. Let's start a conversation about something. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful holiday if you're celebrating. If you're not celebrating, I hope you just have a good old time whatever you're doing, wherever you are. See you next time. Be good.